today actually hurt us. No hats. You don't wear hats before the um, <laughs> during a sound check. It's like it's like uttering Macbeth. It's it's bad luck. You don't utter Macbeth before a theater uh, play or anything like that. So hi guys, my name is Mike Lesko. I'm the community manager on Project Spark, and I'm joined here with Professor Grainer. Hi, hi. I'm Professor Grainer. Apparently, repping my alumni or alma mater here. I should say that's what it is. Or actually, I guess it's Professor Jared. Yeah. And uh, who's a designer on Project Spark. Henry's on vacation because clearly there's nothing going on. So, you know, it seems like a good time to take vacation, right? You know, why not? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so, yeah, Jared, last time we were here, he was on crutches. Yeah, I can stand up and walk now on my own two feet. Can, it's you, great. can you stand up and show people like that? We, you know. Yeah, this is real. This, I can do this now, which is, uh, which, which is new. Which really makes me wonder if he wasn't faking it all along because, come on, nobody gets... You know, I don't really, Mike? Really? Anything to take some time? I didn't. Off? E I didn't. I guess I got like a couple days in there when I got surgery. I got. I can show oh. you the scar. I can show you the scar from the surgery. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Like, like. PG broadcast here. So. Okay. Um, so flip the switch. All right. Here we go. Well, I just wanted to show you that Jared could walk. We weren't, you know, dragging a poor guy. You know, flipping around. So, um, welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, we're uh, we're excited to to be here. Even though Henry's not here, he's probably going to watch though. He's probably going to look in see if, see if we say anything bad about him. Uh, so we're getting uh, so we, the team's been working really, really hard. Uh, I think you probably, if you follow us on Facebook and Twitter, you see sort of the updates that we've had. Um, you know, last that was reported was that uh, Project Spark is indeed was was sent off. The Xbox One version was sent off to certification, uh, and that's currently where we stand right now. There's no real New update. Um, hold on, let me check Sax's Twitter. <laughs> and that's where Mike finds out everything. That's where just I like get you guys. all my news. You know, it's uh, you never know. You never know these things. Oh, Sachs, Sachs what is, is going on? It's actually a little bit of a renegade. You know, he's just kind of no, no, no news. So, so that's kind of the latest update we have right now. Um, I'd say we're we're uh, we're we can't rule out. It, it's it's it's. I tell you right now, it's not going to be today. It won't be tomorrow. Um, we haven't ruled out the possibility of it being next week. Uh, I think that's still quite doable, and we're kind of excited for that and driving. But again, this is certification, right? And these guys are, are testing some really good stuff. <laughs> that's did, not what did I wanted. You, did you just put that together just now? Yeah. Wow. And uh, you know, they, they could find like a showstopper, and then we have to resubmit, and then you know kind of go through some of the process again. So we don't really know, right? We aren't sure, but we are we are hoping we have our fingers crossed uh, and, you know, we're looking pretty good for that. Um, you know, yeah, we wanted to show the Xbox version to uh, this, this, uh, this stream, but I don't know, it didn't seem right without Henry here. Mostly because they, uh, is everybody hearing us okay? Just Mike Kelly, just the only one who's losing his hearing. Um, <laughs> Henry wasn't uh -huh. here, and I, you know, I don't know. I think maybe a lot of times I like to hide behind Henry because he's a creative director. So if I say anything crazy, you know, I can blame it on him, not me. Uh, and without Henry here, I didn't really want to do the uh, do the Xbox stuff. But you know, definitely next week we'll we'll show it. Uh, we'll show off the Xbox, and we'll also um, mm. uh, some point next week. Yeah, I think we'll we'll also try to do show off Connect uh, and do that, and uh, and we'll see. And also, when we when we do when the game does go live on on the Xbox One, when that launches, we're, we'll probably do a stream at noon that day, just sort of become a tradition now. I don't know if we're going to do it every day at noon like we did with Windows 8 Beta. That was a little grueling, but we're gonna um, we're gonna get see if we can get that going and uh, uh, kind of do one that time. So should be pretty cool. Now, there's a couple things, a couple things that uh, I think. You know, I want to talk about about some some bugs that we've been trying to fix, and I think we're not sure if they'll be. There's a chance that these things could end up in one of the versions. Yeah. But I just want to give you guys a heads up. This is kind of advanced stuff that only I think really our, our really core creators might run into. But if you do, I think it's good. I'd rather give you guys a heads up and then have the bugs not show up than to yeah. have you run up, run into it, and go, "Oh, it's crazy!" Yeah. If you're in the middle of making your dream creation, and then we kind of like throw a wrinkle at you with the the update that's coming out here pretty quick. Uh, we just want to give you a heads up, so if you see some weirdness, we're working on it. We're, we're aware of these couple that we're going to talk about here, and we'll get them fixed really quickly, probably within a couple days of you seeing them, in fact. I mean, I would argue that they're already fixed, but, you know, there's always, like, lead time, right? We have a build, we send it off, we do stuff, 
And so we're, we're always kind of trying to, you know, it's, it's funny because, like, with these guys, they'll come on the stream and they're using the beta. And like, what? These, this bug was fixed. What's, what's going on? It's like, yeah, it's fixed in the version you've been playing, Jared, but not Yeah, the, yeah. I just came in here and so there's this bug with scaling that is, drew, drove me nuts at first. So when, uh, it's this cool thing. Like, when, uh, when you have an object in here and you have grid snap on, like I do at the moment, so you can kind of see it's, like, snapping around as I move it, when you scale it up, or I rotate it there. When you scale it up, it's supposed to go up by 50% every time, but it's not doing that by any regular amounts here. So it right. looks, looks pretty weird. So that kind of threw me off. But that's and, that'll be fixed. And that's something that was fixed out. a while ago. So you're used to using the build that had that fixed. So when he was on here, he's like, whoa, wait. Oh, what the oh. heck? Like, I'm used to being upstairs at the with the rest of the team, like using the latest build here. Even, even some of the features that are like a little bit further out, I get to check out and see like some of the stuff that's cool that's coming down the pipe. Yeah, so that's why I make them play on my stock account here so that they can... Motivates us to actually finish these updates yeah. and get them out to you guys so you Share can see the, the cool stuff too. So um, so one thing that is kind of related to that, one bug that we ran into that we've since fixed, but again, we want to, in case it ends up in the release version, it's going to be it's scaling and cloning props. And I actually think, lucky for me, I have the author of that bug Oh yeah, as my guest. So, on the show. so one of them. It's a really pretty obscure case that you'll run into this. But if you have like, so in my case here, I'm building this kind of crazy uh, bird thing. I'm trying to build a bird, bird thing, rock. but it keeps like breaking its back and contorting its wings and all this other stuff. So I'll fix that in a moment. But one of the things that would happen with this, if I had it on the the build that's uh, that's coming out pretty quick, uh, I'm not sure if it'll be the one that you guys end up with. But there's a bug. You might see it. You might not with attachment systems like this. Like normally you can grab what we call the parent, the like kind of original piece of the attachment. In this case it's my rock here in the middle. And then you can scale it up and down so I can make my bird really big or really tiny or something from that. And uh, what that'll do is it scales, you can see it scales my little swords that are attached here relative to it. So it scales the whole thing at once. There's a, there's a bug that you might see that causes the the children the the uh, in this case the swords here to not scale correctly with the parent as you scale it up and down. So it's kind of this really particular case, and it doesn't happen every time. It only happens like I think like as you're switching back and forth between uh, test and edit mode. That if you do that um, like after a couple iterations, you might start to see this. So it's kind of obscure, but you might see it. So we're aware of it. We're fixing it. Um, and we'll uh, we'll get it, that fix out the door as quickly as possible. May, it might even be so fast that you never see that bug, which would be awesome. That's all. I, you know, hey, I, if I had known that, I wouldn't even brought it up. <laughs> like, why are you talking about this old bug? Check again tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it was you. It's like poor Mike Kelly couldn't hear sound. Ah, just you, Mike. But um, yeah, so the uh, uh, one of the other ones is. Um, did it involve the info button, pressing Y to get info? Yeah, so normally in here, when I'm in the top here, let me do it on something a little more sensical. Like, uh, so you can go get more info. In this case, we have like we don't actually give you much info. That's something we're still working on, getting Beta, you all, the, right, you all the tips and descriptions for all this stuff. I think maybe Roll has a little bit more to give you there. Yeah, so Roll in this case will give you a little bit of info. When you press the Y button from the tile picker, get some like a short description up there at the top and a couple tips on how to use the Roll tile. Um, if you go into that, it may or may not uh, give you nothing and like lock up the UI. I forget if it's that intense, if it actually locks the UI. I, I, I thought it was just that it, did, it didn't show the info, but right. I think I think I think the bug is like I should have the notes here in front of me, but it's just basically if you go try to go in here, even even for the tiles like roll where we have information, you won't see anything. So we kind of like. We thought, thought you guys were getting a little too advanced in the levels you're building out there, so we wanted to make it a little harder for you to figure out how to use the language. We're so all about the challenge, right? We want to challenge you to be better. And, <laughs> right, yeah, so we're just, like the tips are not showing up correctly. We'll get that fixed again and update that, hopefully so fast that you never even run into it. And uh, what was the last one? Oh, yeah, so, so one of the cool things, right, one of the things we're super excited about is, you know, is about the cloud, the whole... You know, you can play. Have we, have we done? Have we talked about that? We really haven't. Okay. Um, we we. I mean, we've we've, we've shown it in a demo or two. We've in shown the past. it. We've talked. I mean, we've kind of talked about. We haven't really focused it on the on the stream, um, but you know, the the whole idea that you can basically um, play. You know, you can create, play, share across all platforms that we're on, and you can you can basically play. You know, do everything everywhere. All the time, so you create a level on your Windows 8, Win, Win 8 machine, or Win 8.1 machine, and you know, and then it, it'll save it, and it'll automatically. Then you go down, run downstairs to your Xbox One, fire it up, 
it'll be right there. You'll be able to get to that level even though you haven't sh shared it or anything, it's going to be there. Now there is some weirdness with that that we, we saw that is humming, that has been affecting some iterations of the game. And it was involved in kind of the autosave because it'll autosave and a lot of times it'll take your level, you save your level, and then when it autosaves, it'll turn around and take your level you saved and it'll put auto in front of it. So if you name your, la your, uh, your level, you know, uh, Jared, uh, Jared Stinks, which I don't know why, why you would do you that, do that? But, you know, say you did, then it, it might automatically append, save and append auto in front of that. So then you'd go and look for, search for Jared, and you wouldn't necessarily, J-A-R, you wouldn't necessarily find that level because it autos in front of it. And that can cause, obviously that's not a perfect user experience for us, but you know, it is beta and it's one of those things that there are gonna be issues like that, but that's one of the things that we saw that we've since fixed, but I just wanna, in an abundance of caution, give you guys a heads up about this just in case that, that comes across. Uh, other stuff, what else did we wanna talk about here? Um, I don't know. I have a list. <laughs> I yeah, we've got, we've got things to talk about, right? Like we're we got we got cool stuff. One one of the jokes, and it's almost true. I feel like everything, um, you know, we have more decisions. The team makes more decisions in the twenty minutes before a Twitch stream than any other, you know, before our weekly Twitch stream than any other time of the week. Just because it's like, all right, I'm going to say this, and people are like, wait, what, what, what? Are we sure we want to say that? that? Are we are, yeah. are we confident in that decision? We might we might have to make a decision right now before we go tell everyone what we're doing. You know, and then, of course, we get in trouble because we announce things on the stream. But um, anyways, so yeah, one of, the, one of the other things we want to talk about is um, with, the <coughs> with, the Xbox, with the launch of the Xbox One beta, we also, in parallel, we have to do a Windows 8 update. So when the Xbox One beta comes, there will also have to be a Windows 8 update. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, in theory, right, and I can't say for sure because timing is still, we don't know. Right? We're still kind of trying to nail all this stuff down. And even if we have a, had a date in mind, I wouldn't tell you because <laughs> there's, you know, things happen and things change and we're, we're just trying our best to get it out as soon as we can. But, so if we did give you the, um, when, we, when we do the have that, sorry, when we do have that, uh, when we do go to the Xbox One, we will have to, at the same time or before, do a Windows 8 update. So if I were I'm a pretty, pretty confident, it'll end up being before. From so what, I think what I've been told. And so. what, what's what's happened in the past, right? Is you've seen like like when we went to when we started the beta, we had to take down the alpha, and that was kind of a cue for you guys that are sort of the insiders, because you know it's just us. I know we just we're among friends. Nobody says anything right. here. You don't share this, right? But no. <laughs> um, so I think if you do happen to see a Windows 8 update happen. Like a, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like I a, think that would probably be a good indication that the Xbox One isn't that far. It doesn't mean it'll necessarily be that day or the next day or the, even the day after. But that has got to give you like, an it's indication. A, it's, step, it's a step in the process. Right. So once that step's passed, then you know the next step is coming. But right. it's like you, there were, you're not going to see the Xbox One come out before the Windows right. 8 update. So the Xbox One, yeah, won't surprise you. Probably the first thing you'll see is the Windows 8 update. And then at least that'll tell you to start paying attention that the Xbox One is sort of, the runway has been cleared for the Xbox One beta yeah. to land at any point in the next whatever so many days. Um, so that's just kind of a little something else to keep in mind as well. Yep. How will we be know that the Xbox One beta is live? Um, we're going to scream it loudly from the rooftop for as long as we can, yeah. as loudly as we can. We want as many people to know as possible. Yeah, it'll be on, uh, we'll announce it on, on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, it'll be on our website. Um, we'll probably, we'll also, like I said, on the day it launches, we'll, we'll, you know, I almost guarantee we'll do a stream at noon that day. Uh, just to kind of give people some info and stuff like that. Yeah, so, we'll do a, we'll do a demo of like kind of how the Xbox integrates with the PC. Probably switch back and forth. You know, yeah. Henry and I were talking about that. It might be cool to actually um, to do the whole process live, right? To yeah. go to get a box that doesn't even have it and log in. You know, find the game, download it, and then we can share the pain. If, you know, I, I guess it's not actually a very long um, download by uh, you know most standards, so it's pretty quick download. Uh, and, and just go through, and you know, hopefully nothing horrible will happen. But it, it just kind of shows you guys us going through the process, so that if you have questions yourself, you'll be able to see that and, and things like that. Multiplayer news. Multiplayer is really exciting. We love multiplayer. <laughs> uh, I like nothing more than shooting Jared in any multiplayer game. 
I can, yeah. What games do you play that multiplayer um, games? I play... What am I playing right now? I'm playing a little bit of World of Tanks on mm -hmm. 360, so we should try some of that out. Um, that just came out, like, out of beta or something a couple yep. weeks ago, or a week ago or something there. Um, looking forward to Titanfall, obviously, like like everyone probably. Did you play, play it as much? Did you get uh, it? I, I played actually... the beta of Titanfall a tiny bit. Yeah, I, I just knew the game much. was coming out in a couple weeks, so I'm like, I, I can I can play these other games too, and then I'll get to that in a bit. I'm playing a bunch of Assassin's Creed. Hi, I'm Sketch. Thanks for creating an account to say hi. <laughs> no, he said he created an account just to say, oh, just because cool. he knew Jared was on, and he's a oh. huge Jared fan. And he, he, did, he didn't actually. And he said, it. I like Jared much more than Claude. Wait, don't look at my screen. I don't see. Like no, nobody said He that. said, hi, I just created an account okay, to say hi. Okay, that's true. Well, you tell you're full of half truths. I, well, <laughs> well, you kind of pegged me right there. I sort of nailed it. Oh um, man, this is interesting. Uh, uh, we can something that's different. I just noticed all the differences between the two builds that are coming out. A lot of these icons in here you see for the controller are changing because we want to we want to support the new Xbox One controller. So you'll see some new stuff in here, like all the all the bump, like buttons in here look like buttons from a 360 controller, like what I'm using right now, but these are going to change. So, subtle little things like that, they're changing to look more like the, the new Xbox One stuff. Yeah. Um, let's see. What were we talking about? We were talking about some guy who was commenting there. You got, what, what else are people talking about? So, the, well, the, the the, hey, here? what game is this? So we get some new folks. Uh, so this is Project Spark. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's on Windows 8 right now. We're going to be coming out on Xbox One any day, except not tomorrow. So any day, <laughs> as early as next week. Um, you know, we're really excited about it, and basically, it's a game that you. Uh, why don't you? It's yeah, it's a game uh, about creating. So it's all about like uh, giving creators a place to play and players a place to create. So it's uh, kind of uh, this. I'm in the blank world here, where you can kind of create a game from scratch, and then uh, if you get something cool, share it out with the community, let other people uh, kind of remix it and add on to it, or tell you what they like, what they don't like. Then you can update your level and kind of become famous. That's the whole goal. It's like letting you kind of create some stuff, become famous in the community, and then maybe we'll highlight your stuff either on our Twitch streams here or on the front page of the game. Um, or if you want to start at different places, we also have different modes for kind of like auto-generating a random world for you to start building from or uh, kind of the crossroads experience more guided, like here's some choices about the type of game you want to make. So that's kind of a high level of what Project Spark is all about. I'm trying to make here a game where you play as kind of this custom bird that I'm building and then shoot eggs at goblins. So I'm, I'm right now I'm working on my, my egg brain here. Uh, Cryptic Spark's birthday is March 5th. So if you'd let the team know that if they can get it out... Uh, by March fifth. By so, so by March fifth, right? So a birthday present for cryptic. Okay. Cryptic what? Cryptic spark. Cryptic right? spark. What, what other cryptic would it be? Yeah, I mean, uh, you don't see. It could, be, it could be cryptic squirrel. No, how many cryptic titan falls do you see? Huh? How, take that yeah, response. I've never, I've never I've seen, never seen a cryptic. <laughs> cryptic titan fall. Um, no, I love Respawn. I just, you know, maybe in, just a tiny bit jealous. Install size? Do we have any idea of the install size? You know, somebody told me, but I don't want to quote it because I'm not sure exactly. But I, I guess it was like, you know, under two gigs. It, I guess whatever it was, it was fairly huh. small. It was yeah, not a big like deal. The, it's going to be very similar to the, the Windows version. So, like, if you can, if you notice, like, how big the Windows install is. I don't think they actually tell you that in the Windows install process, but you might notice, like, your hard drive space change. It's not, it's not a lot compared to a lot of Xbox One games out there. But that'll grow over time as we get, like, more content packs together and stuff like that. Right, so you want to get in early. Get the down, before the download's big, right? Like that's, yeah. If that doesn't make any difference, Mike. You know, I, <laughs> just got to rain on your parade all day. I know, that's, man. That's why you invite me here, you're, right? You're killing my whole half-truth <laughs> thing, you know? Um, the uh, So a couple of the things people are talking about, uh, um, oh, you know, is the beta most likely coming out next week? You know, we can't say for certain because we're still in cert. So it's, it's a, one of those things that... He, likely seems like... We could say likely, I, I, right? Uh, I tend to be very cautious. I'd say we haven't seen anything that would rule out that possibility, so, and we're still hopeful, but eh, once you say likely, then it, it kind of tweaks, tweaks karma. But, okay. Uh, this right here is, um, yeah, 1080p, uh, 30 FPS, I believe what Henry said last time. Uh, level linking isn't, didn't make Xbox One, uh, didn't make this beta. It's still coming, though. I it's mean, coming. It, yeah, we're, you know, we're looking at it. We're kind of prioritizing, uh, like, 
uh, like getting the Xbox One beta out and trying to get as like everything on Xbox One to work as well as you're seeing it on PC, so that you can kind of go back and forth between the two and have the exact same experience. That's like our number one priority here. What about saving in levels? Um, do you know where, where yeah, we, we stand we on that? We refer to that as checkpointing. A checkpointing? Yeah. yeah, that's kind of the, the feature heading that comes under. So we can do things like save in the middle of a level, resume there later, and then that's going to help us do stuff for level linking where we can save a portion of a level, like your player and every all the stuff in your inventory, save that and then load it into the next level that you come into. So there's that, those are kind of like tied together. They'll probably come in either like together in the same update or like near each other. Uh, so that's that's also not in as part of the Xbox One update. I'm trying to think what all is in there. There's like a lot of stuff around saving is getting updated. We haven't gone into all the details about that. You'll probably we'll talk a lot more about that and kind of demo how saving is changing for you guys next week. And that's super handy. There's some really useful stuff coming with that. That just kind of makes the creation process a good bit more reliable and smoother. Just in, like kind of just the basic stuff around saving there that's changing. Um, I'm trying to think what else what else is in. On the Xbox One, there's a lot of UI tweaks and stuff. Kind of, I mentioned the icons for controller are changing. A lot of new uh, tool tips on how to use controller because we know like everybody on so Xbox One is going to be using speaking controller. Speaking about the, the controller, like, um, when did we ever net out on keyboard and mouse on Xbox One? I've seen oh, some yeah. discussion about that, but I don't know where we landed. So we're so you know I forget if we I don't know <laughs> if I'm supposed to talk about this, but. Yeah. Uh, unless somebody like um, emails Mike like right now about like Contra and whether I should mention anything Hold on, let me around log that, off real fast. Is Nobody anybody anybody gonna like stop me? Um, anyway, so no, no, uh, stop I, I, I got no email. So <laughs> um, the uh, we're doing a lot of stuff to uh, make sure that every game made for PC will be playable on Xbox One because it's kind of the worst thing in the world right now where you uh, start playing a game and then you realize, oh wait, the creator didn't remember to like give me controls for controller. And then how? And then like a lot of games that rely on mouse input, like specifically like where's the mouse position in the world, when did you click on an object, That's does, that just doesn't work in the current version of the game. But we're doing, uh, we're kind of expanding our remapping, our controller remapping stuff. I should keep building stuff here so there's something cool to watch yeah. while I talk. But uh, well, it's anyway. It's hard to talk in, in right. We're doing some cool stuff with like a virtual cursor that you can pilot around with the right stick so that you can still play games that are built by for uh, a mouse and right and, and it's super like important because that. that's really the big promise of project spark is that you can play you know we're really about that sort of you know we, we think the you know not just us right not just team dakota but microsoft studios xbox and microsoft as a whole like the cloud is is the big future and so that's one of the one of the big pillars of project spark is that you can you know our ultimate goal is that you can enjoy project spark on any screen in your life right on your you know Windows PC in in your office on your Xbox One in your living room on your Xbox 360 in the I don't know where your Xbox 360 is down in the gaming room or something in the right. kids room right now my Xbox 360 is plugged into my Xbox One see look at that, that that's <laughs> hardcore right there right uh, you know and eventually you know smart class right so I mean and obviously your Surface on your Surface Pro or your Surface Pro 2 you can play it on the bus because you can use Project Spark in offline. And then with smart glass oh. functionality, now you kind of get it. Well, you could do anything that has that supports smart glass eventually. So you know that's kind of the big thing. So absolutely, it's important for us to make sure that those controls will work on the Xbox One that you use other place. And that's something we want to do for really every platform we end up being on uh, eventually. And um, you know, you may yeah, you may see Project Spark being for sale online. I, it, it's not necessary. I mean, it could be a scam, right? Depending on where you are, but. Like, I think it was Aris who just sent me a link earlier. I said, hey, this is on Best Buy. And what these guys generally do, because I checked, I actually checked with our marketing guys and made sure, hey, this isn't some something that, <laughs> you know, they're getting word of. And they said, no, basically what happens is a lot of times these guys, they're still in a retail mindset. So they'll see a list of release dates of upcoming Microsoft first party uh, titles. And they'll just assume and they'll make like a default thing. And a lot of times, like, the default is like 69, I mean, is that what most, I, I'm really a PC gamer, I hate to admit it. Hopefully, you know, Phil and nobody else is, <laughs> you know, important is watching it. But I'm generally a PC gamer, but is 69 what the cost of a typical console game is now these no, days? No, it's uh, 59. That's what I thought, I thought it was more 59. So I, I, so if you see a link, I mean, it's, it's you probably just based off what the release list is. I don't think there's anything there. Um, does that mean that we may not do some sort of bundle, the retail thing at some point? I, I mean, you know, don't say never, but the real goal is like, you know, this is a this is a digital download, and if we do do some sort of bundled stuff later, uh, you may see that. But anything along those lines, nothing that you see now is related 
to anything that we're planning. It's just sort of speculation. It's just other part. people guessing. That's all it is. It will change, you know. It shows some interest. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. exciting that they're paying attention. Uh, let's see what else. Um, so one other good thing that I think we, we can talk about, um, and Henry's not here to tell me no, so yeah. <laughs> we want him for not coming. Uh, yeah, so uh, as Jared is showing, one of the things is Aris in, in the stream, he's probably, oh, there he is. So Aris Sildi. So one of the things that Aris, among others, but he was the big proponent of this, big thing he talked about, in fact, he, he figuratively pulled me aside and said, Mike, if there's one thing that we really want, it's more attachment slots. And that really resonated with me because I watched one of the streams he did on the Project Spark community channel. And he was just, hey, t guys, tell me what to make. And people were coming up with crazy things. And Aris stood there and I watched him and he just boop, boop, boop. And he made, like, I actually said, uh, do you ever watch the Venture Brothers? Me? Yeah. So Venture, oh. well, you should. You're okay. clearly, you're clearly <laughs> uncultured. So Venture <laughs> Brothers, right? I said, hey, how about uh, a picture of number 21 or number 24? You know, which is one of the monarch's henchmen, and they have this really iconic suit and look, and it's kind of funny. And I said that to Aris, and he's like, oh, let me see a picture. And I, oh, okay. And so I found a picture in LinkedIn and chat, and he actually made one that looked really good like, nice. in like five minutes. And I'm like, wow, this guy's got skills when it comes to just creating these characters. But his big thing was about the attachment sockets. Wanted more attachment sockets. So I guess the, the bad news is like, at, at least as far as I know, it didn't make it into the current Xbox One right. version. But the next update, right? The patch, the first patch for the Xbox release has more sockets in it. Yes. So right now, I think, uh, let's just take a look on uh, a human character here, like how many sockets there are. So if I grab this guy, go into character studio, go into attachments, pick something random, like an acorn is right there. So it looks like uh, I was counting these up before. We've got 10 socket positions here, I believe. Or it looks like maybe only nine on this one here. Because root isn't really one, right? Because we got root is kind of the same thing as position, basically. So it looks like there's uh, there's nine on here, and there's going to be eighteen after the first patch for the Xbox. Eighteen. So that is more than that's double. Of, well, half truth, right? That's more than double. Yeah. Even though exactly, it's exactly double, double. But it's, it's more than yeah. more than double. <laughs> <laughs> the so and the cool thing about the the new sockets that are coming is that right now we give you kind of the hands and the feet basically on all your appendages so it's uh it's going to come with now you're going to get elbows and uh shoulders so that really lets you kind of build like full limbs like uh for your characters and stuff then that are going to be fully animated and that'll that'll work like that'll just be a lot make the process of creating custom characters a lot easier with the attachment system there so aris i mean you know i know you think i'm always full of it but you no know, we went to bat really i went to bat for you on this one and everybody said, shut up, Mike, get out of here. And then they said, you know, that is a good idea, though, and they did it anyway. So right. it wasn't actually my pull. But I did try, even though that wasn't the reason it got in. But no, it, it's good. And we do, like, I'll joke aside. Obviously, community input is huge, and you guys have done a lot of work. And Aris himself has done a lot of work helping with polls and stuff, and we really appreciate it. And we definitely need you guys to tell us what to improve. And this is just one tiny example of something that, you know, we want to do to continue to improve this stuff to make you guys do more. So they said they wanted to see it breathe fire like a dragon. Okay, I can probably do that. Uh, I'm trying to make it the eggs explode when they hit the goblins too, so let me do that real quick. Uh, bump, and then let me go up to the, the picker here. Now, can attachments have attachments? Yes, atta I'm actually using attachments with attachments right now. Um, so that should work if I bump the goblins, make it explode. I need to make this damage do a lot more. Um, how about like 50? I think I have 50 in here already. Yeah, there we go. So it should take like two hits to kill one of the, the goblins out there. Oh, wait, they might have less than 100 health, so I might kill them in one hit. Whatever. Anyway, so they want to see it breathe fire. Let's, I've never uh, heard anybody complain about goblins being killed in one hit, <laughs> except for the goblins. They do. They're not a fan of that yeah, one. Yeah, they I think take you're a right. dim view of that. All right, so one cool thing that I can just uh, use right here is uh, all effects ha can be powered on and off. I don't know if we've shown that before, but it's, it's a nifty little tip. So I'm going to say in this guy, when left trigger, because I think I'm already using the right trigger, I'll breathe fire. So when left trigger do, we've buried the power information like down on the second page, power on, and when not left trigger, power off. So that should just be breathing fire. I'm going to attach that effect to my rock here. Effect to rock. There we go. And left trigger, 
Well, I'm kind of breathing fire out my backside. That's a little different. Not exactly what was intended, but you know, sometimes funny things happen. <laughs> oh, so um, can you attach a character to another character? Yeah. Yeah, we could maybe, maybe I'm like a human that's like riding a dragon here or something like that. Well, though, I mean, like Eris is saying that it seems, it seems bugged, like the attached. Ooh, okay, let's check that out. Maybe we'll discover something here. Yeah, we, we only, we only listen if Eris complains. We no, never nobody listen. else. Nobody that, else. Especially not... Mike Kelly. Mike Kelly, all right, that, we're going to fix that tomorrow. Mike Kelly wants it. Let's put it down the end of the list. <laughs> I don't know how it works that way. So is there, just... is there anything in particular about attaching a character to a character? Oh, that was interesting. I was not well, expecting that. Well, there you go. So maybe, is that what you were seeing that seemed kind of odd? It kind of like teleported the character to a little bit of an odd orientation that I wasn't anticipating there? Oh, I think Mike says you should do it in code. Oh, do it in code too. Okay, so there's there's kind of a lot of ways to attach things to each other. Like you can, uh, I'm trying to make like a kid that's maybe in his dad's backpack or something here. That's that's what I was thinking. A dad riding a dragon with his kid. Oh, look at that! Look at that right there. Oh, it look. looks like there is something a little bit off. Hmm. So I'll have to look in that on the more recent build and see if that comes up as well. There. Oh, looks like my dragon's upside down. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make this guy emote too. He doesn't need to be doing any of that. Two. Um, it's under appearance now, I think. No, it's not a prop. So sin Sincerely's had a good list. Let me scroll up and see. Of, of bugs? You want me to go through all the bugs right no, now? No, no, no. A list. <laughs> no, he had a good list of things to talk about. Okay. Uh, the Xbox One montage featuring community works. So yeah, this is, and we're gonna we're gonna release the montage when the Xbox One uh, beta releases. So that could be as early as next week. And the montage, like you've seen the ones in, in the past, right? We did the original one for E3, um, and then the one from Gamescom. And this one, the new one, is really made from what everything you guys have made. It's all yeah. community stuff, and it's not just hey, so we can say it's community stuff. It's like your stuff is awesome. I mean, you know, you guys have really made some great stuff. So we've done that, and um, and, a, and a big shout out to Tom Gazage for for you know busting his tail to get this done. Which, you know, I don't know why he's making the videos. He's he's <laughs> a he's a producer with lots of other work to yeah, do. Yeah, he's like our producer in charge of create mode. So you'd think, yeah. think he would have other things. I think he'd play. have a lot of stuff to do. But, but you know, he's, he likes making videos. He's got some talent there. When it yeah, comes to definitely. That stuff. So what he did, and he works though, he works with some other people externally who help us out with that. So it's not. Well, it's I, not think, all I think this time. one was all the, the montage was all him. I think that was oh, all okay. he, he did together. But what he did, and this is what's cool, he went through and in, inside the montage, when each level pops up for a few seconds, it says buy and it has the gamer tag. Oh, of really? The that's yeah. awesome. Because this so, is this is probably our first like big montage video that we've done since like the beta's been going for a while. Because a lot yeah. of the stuff that was in the montage videos we did around E3 and stuff was like from the internal game jams of our, right. of our team here or the like internal Microsoft. But like, yeah, alpha. Microsoft folks. And I don't even know. Like we may have had some alpha to folks get into the Gamescon thing, for, but for the most part, you know. So this is really the, the first thing. So that I think is cool. And I think it's almost like maybe we should do, um, you know, maybe we could talk with our our, our uh, forum folks and see if we can get a badge made for people that, you know, get uh, appear. It's almost like a like an achievement, right? You know, appear in a Project Spark community montage video. Like that's really cool. So yeah. what yeah. we're gonna do is I want to um, uh, start. Maybe we'll start today. I want to start, you know, putting out. And I was thinking, rather just say, hey, so-and-so's level is was used here, why don't we get a screen grab of one frame of the video that shows by them and shows their level, and kind of put that out, maybe we can do one of those a day until, uh, and hopefully we don't run out of time, oh, yeah, until the Xbox cool One idea. goes, and just kind of get that and get people excited, like, oh, hey, yeah, that montage yeah, is just coming just out. Just tweet them out or something, like yeah. this guy's got his, uh, his level mate is in there or something like and that. And I think it'd be cool, I want to get everybody, you know, I'd like to get a bunch of those and then have different people on the team that are active on Twitter to, to tweet them out so it's always not just me or just, you know, the Project Spark one, but doing that. So maybe we see if we can get Tom to do the first one, maybe even today after the stream. So. Uh, so that's cool, and that's coming, um, and appreciate everybody's help on, on that and making some cool stuff. And, uh, you know, we're excited that as we release more content packs and you have more looks so that everything doesn't look like a um, character shooting a goblin in a forest, <laughs> which you got to admit, when those are the tools we get you guys, obviously that's what you're going to make most of. All right, so, um, so should we stop showing off my, like, dragon Yeah, so why don't we jump into move on to some stuff. other stuff? 
Uh, one of the other things that we're talking about as you start loading up something was uh, I was chatting with the community a little bit about an idea of like the content packs. Like we have right now, we have a when we create a content pack, we make a showcase level. Yeah. And let me see this. This is your for, list of levels we want to check out. Yeah. And like one thing, like color, it was one that we've we've shown before, but I know you haven't seen it. Yeah. So I'm if you want to start with that, I think that's fine. Okay. Because these guys, it's yeah, it's spelled weird. Because you know, Agent Nine's a little weird. <laughs> Um, and we so, got two here. Do you know which one it is? That yeah. one? That one looks like... Eh, it's rated higher, so I was good with that. Pre-pre-alpha build. Well, pre 200 pre downloads? No? Yeah, I know. I think it's that. Well, can you... I wish we knew to see which one was later. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, so it's, it's that one. That um, one. So what we were thinking about, it does take a lot of time for us to do that, and we really want to focus on getting more content, but, you know, the showcase levels are really important. So... Anyways, what, what we were thinking is that we have packs out there and we have showcase levels there. And I think just as a general, as a general <laughs> sort of community challenge, why don't, like, if somebody wants to remix or someone wants to make a, a showcase level that they think is better than the ones we have, <laughs> I think that's great. And if it's good and I can go and run it by Tara and BJ and Henry and Sachs and the rest of the team and they agree... I think, you know, it'd be a real possibility we could just replace that out and give you guys credit and say, you know what, this person did a better job at it than we did, so we're <laughs> going to use theirs to show it off. And I think that that's cool in a lot of ways, and it really shows kind of the power of community. And then, you know, who knows, but oh, like... Oh, shit, using some negative lights here, I think? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I just love the marker, even of itself. Yeah. So that, yeah, we did already show this, but Jared didn't, so he, you know, he, he, he bullied me this a little bit before cool. the screen. <laughs> Uh, I saw I saw a clip of this because hey, should, can, or can we say like maybe give our like our tease our first level that made it into the Xbox One montage right here. Well, you're gonna say that that color made it into the Xbox One montage. That's the first place I saw it. Really? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't know, but I mean, not that I'm surprised, right? Right. So one of the other things is uh, you know Sax and <laughs> Sax and Claude, right? Happy clouds. You know what that reminds you of? <laughs> uh, I'm afraid to ask. Okay. Um, <laughs> we've been doing a lot of press interviews in anticipation of the Xbox One beta coming out. And right. Sax has been in. Oh, that's cool. Sax and Claude have been in um, San Francisco and I think New York and like kind of this whole week. And they've been showing off a lot of stuff. And I definitely wanted to to give it like Sax even tweeted this the other day. Uh, I just want to read the read the list here. Uh, Blaze Jumper, uh, Medieval Town. Victorian Mischief, which we need to look at. We haven't shown on the stream yet. All right, let's do that one next. Victorian and, Mischief. And Color oh, and King's cool. Landing. I like the little notes here. I bet there's some really awesome sound that I just can't hear right now. Well, you can probably put on the headphones. You just look weird. Okay. Weird dirt. What are you trying to say? What? What I, are you trying to say? The headphones were on. <laughs> uh, but no, like, I mean, and Sax was telling me an email, and, and I even mentioned this to, to Agent 9 there, like, uh, especially Blaze Jumper and Color, like, he said that, that those levels alone, and this is really cool, guys, think about this. Those levels alone really changed the way some of the gaming press looked at Project Spark. Right? Let me, let me say that again. Like IGN, Polygon, like Joystick, some of these big gaming press that kind of like didn't necessarily get, oh, okay, what's great about Project Spark? We showed these levels that you guys made, and Sax is demoing these to, to this press and these big events, and they said, wow, this really changes how we look at it. Yeah, and that is super powerful, right? Yeah, definitely. So hats off to you guys. Like again, like you're, you're the community is the secret to our success. Did I, did I see everything? I don't. Want, I want to make sure I don't miss anything here. Like I just kind of ran through it. Yeah, I think the, that's that's pretty much. Pretty this is much really it. cool. I'm assuming. I just want to take a, a theory on like how this was done. No idea how they got the white sky. It must be like something just super bright maybe there. And then, but this, I'm thinking this is snow on the ground, and I think these are all lights. That are colored different ways like that. That's my guess as like how they got the the, the like ground different colors. I actually have no idea. I'm kind of kind of blown away on like how this was put together. So pretty cool. I and mean, lots of primitives like sphere primitives up there. Hi, Mr. Hawkeye different from sphere. Twitter. Um, Rom right. The rhombus is here. I can see that. All I'm right. Planning on releasing Project Spark gamer pictures for Xbox One. Um, I don't think right away. There's a lot of stuff. That we that like kind of Xbox One features that we're gonna get to uh, later, like as we get kind of think about like when do we finish beta or something like that and go to a full like release or something, and things kind of polish elements like uh, achievements like won't be there day one, but we'll get to that down the road and things like gamer pictures and other bits there. 
Yeah, no, it's uh, it's good stuff, and I think you know we we do like we a lot of times we get we get compliments on our community, and um, you know and of course like everything right I want to take credit for that, but in, <laughs> in, in reality it's really it's just the game. The game gets seems to attract people that are very helpful, that are very creative, uh, you know, and that's a cool thing. I mean, it's also I think it also attracts people that are that are very intligent and um, probably very good looking. Although maybe I'm reaching a little. No, but you seriously, think all no, of our fans are good looking. That's, well, that's I, high praise. I'm there. just saying the people, that, the people that are, you know, I, I, I've seen the good looking people tend to like Project Spark. So yeah. if you don't like Project Spark, read into that. What no? But seriously, <laughs> what we do, we have a, we have a really great community. Right, we here. got Victorian mishaps. It was mislabeled in the email here, so you got to get God Sachs. Sachs where is he? What, he called it lucky. Victorian mischief unless the creator renamed it which they could have done right in which case uh now we're both fired way to go jared you all right know. so this this guy only has like uh un has less than 70 downloads i'm going to put the headphones on to make sure i don't miss anything um but uh, so this one we might be highlighting like giving this guy a little fame here it looks like it hasn't necessarily caught on just yet all right he's got a skippable cutscene in here that's actually like really can be challenging to do so that already has me impressed hi ed ed hingham ed hingham so this guy's taking advan advantage of the keys to the castle pack, it looks like. Getting some of those castle towers in there. Uh, what are we asking caffeine-powered frog? Oh, man. What is this? This is some custom characters he's got down here. I love that. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so is this a... This looks like this is a character picker. That This is like kind of like steampunk... Esque, yeah! Like, uh, wow! Look at characters. that. Look like with the telescope as a weapon. It looks like there. That's cool. I want to oh. play as that guy. I think that's the middle guy. So I'm gonna go up on the D-pad. Oh no, not the middle guy. Okay. Well, oh, I can switch between them. <laughs> the marvelous. This is amazing. This is cool. Oh, and they're all together, so it's almost like it's. Yeah, this is. Uh, I love this mechanic in games. So Dead Eye, the marvelous bolt. So it looks like I've got a ranger. Um, An average recon, you're 40 minutes late again. Um, what is this? My, my melee attack is like a giant barrels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see what this other guy got. Uh, melee attack. I am. Ed, I am. Sorry. I shoot, I shoot gears, it looks like. That's kind of cool. No strangers allowed. If I know you, then maybe. So kind of like puzzles. Oh, here, that is interesting. So it's kind of the puzzle. You got to figure out who has the ability to go through. Barrel guy tries to smash the wall. Of course. Why wouldn't you? I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. All right. So I already tried this one. So this 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 guy. What's he got? Um, He's got a telescope. So me nobody's melee attacks looked like they work. Oh, that's an explosion. Oh. I didn't know I had that. <laughs> There That's a crazy looking explosion right there. Hey, wait, it didn't go off. Go check it. Touch it. Do, do, do. Dang, what no, is that? that That's like work. fireworks or something, maybe? Hmm. Maybe one of us has the ability. I need like, like a, I need like a hint button right now. To overpass. Overpass, maybe? Oh! Oh, hey. look at that! <laughs> Who knew? Okay, so let's see. This guy's got <laughs> giant boots when he jumps. This is amazing. Wow, I haven't... So this is normal jumps for the other two, maybe, it looks like? Right. So maybe if you go up there with him, the other two, like, teleport to follow or something. Wow, that was so funny. You're like, I need a hint. You checked what it said, and there was the hint. That like, you overpass. See. That's a strange word. That's probably, right. There's got to be, like, more to that. Wow. Treasure chest up here? What do we get? Hey, 250 bucks. Nice. Wow, good. Good, good, good. good. I lunch this week. So man, this guy can get anywhere now. You guys still following me back there? Uh, she's just a little yeah. locked. I can't teleport there. Locked. Uh, so it looks like there's a bunch of places I can go explore. Wow, this looks like a pretty. Looks like I could a probably lot play this. On. I could probably play this most of the stream. Yeah. I would guess wow. They told me to stay out. Of course not. It's not a very friend friendly neighborhood. Everybody's like, stay out. Wow, this is pretty impressive. Ugh. Wonder what happens if I fall off. I, I kind of have afraid to do that. Oh, looking using some water pools there. Hey, wait, nice. Can you go underneath? We'll explore the water. I'm yeah. kind of afraid to swim off the edge. Yeah, something bad. <laughs> Look at break that. The There's guys. nothing below. You know, it's like you're gonna be 
Like one of uh, oh, 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 okay. David Freeze's guy. Oh, look at that. He even has a nice little... Ah, a nice little teleport if you fall down to the edge of the world. I just want to play as this guy all day. This jump feels really good. Um, okay, so what do we have next? This so, is pretty amazing. I have to stop? Yes. You're not going to let is, me finish Jared's the level? Jared's a completionist. Ah, <laughs> okay. Some other time then. Well, you guys should all go play that one and see what else is going on in there. Because that first puzzle was already pretty cool. Somebody should make a cool video of that so we can... Yeah, do that like a highlight video from that one. Yeah. Some, somebody Where's Duquesne? That. Where is he? Is he? He's probably up playing. All right, what, what do you want stuff. me to look at up next here? Blaze Jumper? Well, we've already... Well, you, you've seen Blaze Jumper, right? Okay. We showed that. So Me Medieval Town? All right. So I haven't seen that medieval one. Medieval Town. Let's see what that's about. I bet that uses the castle pack as well. Medieval town, there we go. Okay. Oh, I could see there was a pretty cool looking picture there of the town. I think Claude might have mentioned this one to me and said it looked really cool. Oh wait, no, I think we did show this one in the uh, in the stream. Maybe I just forgot the name. Like this is the one oh no, maybe not. But everybody's saying this one was uh they're pretty saying, impressive too. Are they telling me that? Are they telling us that this one's been shown off before? Uh, not yet. This is a pretty big town this guy put together here. I love the the house. GTA are... Five. Duquesne is playing GTA Five. I just wanted everybody to know that. <laughs> so it looks like these are built out of the castle wall pieces, just kind of used creatively with some windows attached and recolored and stuff like that. That's a really cool example of using something that we built to be your castle wall, but it totally works as a house here too. And now, what is this? What is, oh, that's so creative. So these are banners that are usually meant to be hanging just straight down, uh, but using them kind of angled like that makes a nice little shop roof. Cool, oh. cool So combo. we did show this last week. Apparently I was chatting with the community. And oh, not okay. Well, I wasn't here last week, so forgive me for uh, so I replay. So um, King's Landing. Did we show King's Landing? I'm Somebody, just ask you guys. That, that sounds like something out of, uh, out of uh, Game of Thrones there to me. That gets me excited. Oh, no, that's... King's Landing with a capital K. <laughs> that's coming when? That's not. Uh, that's still ways out, right? The King's. First... Oh, I missed it. King's Landing. No results. Yeah, Maybe just, search just for king, or landing or something. It might be King apostrophe. Yeah, there's probably an apostrophe in there. Yeah, there we go. Moon landing. There's a moon landing. Wow. <laughs> that makes me curious. I love it when people take the time to write like a really thorough description here. That just always makes me happy. Even though I don't necessarily have time to read it all while the level's loading, at least like I can go back and like kind of know what I'm getting into. I mean, the thing to remember is that the a lot of these guys have like put in a lot of time and like really kind of get up to speed with this. So I think don't. I, oh look out! <laughs> I don't want the people to, to look at this and say, "Wow, I could never do this." It's like, go in and see what you can do. And and I think probably most of the people that did this always never thought that they could make something so in depth. Oh wow! You just wow, that is pretty impressive. You just start making something, and you're like, "Wow, look, I could do this and this." And next thing you know. It's 5 a.m. and you yeah. need to work early, and uh, you've made this awesome level. So, yeah. Now there there are prop limits, but as we see with a lot of these levels that we've seen, there are creative ways to work around them. Um, and oh, nice! You got the little archery range here. Yeah, All the oh, oh, oh nice! Shot. I like that. Oh, hey, look! Why don't you? Can I practice too? How do I do that? I'm not, not very I'm not, good. I'm not very good at this. Yeah, well, I, I'll get closer. There we go. That explains okay. why uh, you there didn't we go. make Better it in now. the Archer Corps. <laughs> oh, oh, I probably shouldn't shoot all those guys. Sorry. Oop. <laughs> They're not going to all attack me now because that would be bad. There's way too many of them. Can I get them all to follow me? That would be awesome. Oh, they're just going to say hi? They're not going to follow me around? Hey, what? You haven't achieved that. I guess, Dude, like, you I, I'm not... Out of you flunked out of archery school. They're not going to let you lead a whole <laughs> I don't have host. the authority to command all the soldiers. Oh, that's the Red Keep up there. I, I know my, my Game of Thrones fiction. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Agent Nine Keep. saying that everything she creates, she thinks is terrible, too. And, <laughs> you know, and not being a very creative guy myself, uh, I can't really speak Look at this guy showing it. off his strafing skills. But, um... I can do that. I can strafe. Talking well, with Schubert really. and the artist... Artists, I can tell you that most people that are really creative and creative-minded and doing this stuff, they never feel that anything is done. They always feel that their stuff can be better. And Schubert is one of my favorite people in the world, even though he never gives me any assets. Because so Schubert is our art director. Did yeah. You, did you mention that? I didn't, but I was assuming people know. But that's a good point. Brad Schubert, our art director, 
And I, I just love the guy because I think it's a compelling story. I can't get him to give me any art because he doesn't want to release anything until it's perfect and he wants to make sure it's there. And that's that level of detail is really just one of the many reasons why Project Spark is as awesome as it is. And I think, you know, if you ask Brad, he's going to tell you that there's very few things that he ever feels that are done. He always huh. wants to make it better. And, and I see the same thing with our creators, all those you guys in the community that said the same thing and say, oh, I don't think this there. And, uh, yeah, and every time I see someone say, like, I'm working on a level, but I'm not finished with it yet, it's like, it's like yeah, I know that feeling. I know that right. feeling. You don't want to share it until you're, you're confident that it's finished. But you know what? To the rest of us, it's like, you know, don't let the inner, inner self-critic hold you back, guys. Like, you know, some of this stuff is just so amazing. It gives us just so much joy to see. Yeah. And everybody else to check the stuff out that, you know, really just, I wouldn't worry. I haven't seen anybody like, like that Zoidberg, Zoidberg meme somebody posted on our forums. Uh, picture of Zoidberg saying, your, your level sucks and you should feel bad. <laughs> I love that. And I, I think that just kind of sums it up, right? Like, come on. Just nobody's going to say, oh, this is terrible. It's... You know, go out, put it out, see what you say. I mean, you might be surprised. You might be surprised at what things cool. that you don't think is cool, people might notice and say, that's awesome. So. A little cathedral here, pretty cool. All right, let's, let's go check out the next one on the list. What do you, what do you want me to go to next? Um, so what was the next one on the list? Uh, how about Thriller? Thriller, okay, that sounds very different than what we've looked at so far. Ah. Now this is Caffeine Powered Frog. He gives me a list every week. Nice guy. Even though he's, he's got oh, a lot going man. on, he's super busy, but um, I really appreciate that. And sure enough, DK has four questions. Unfortunately, I only have time for three and a half. This guy got an excellent screenshot. Oh, man. We got some evil dead creatures coming out of the ground coming after me. Demons or zombies or something. squid face zombies, yeah. <laughs> Take, using the skull there with some fire or I something these inside guys of it? Every night, let me tell you. I've got a feeling something is about to happen, and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I can't move, as far as I know, unless it's keyboard and mouse only. No? Are they just coming after me? Oh, whoa! Lightning! <laughs> did I do something wrong? What did you do, man? I don't know. It just faded to black on me. Okay. There you go. Okay, so it's a little cinematic there of some, uh, no mere mortal can resist the evil of Thriller. Okay. Nice. Well, all right. So visual test there, cinematic. Unless I miss something. Unless I miss something. There could be more to that. You guys go play it and see if you, you find out anything else there. Uh, what's, <laughs> what's next? <laughs> People are like, hey, yeah, they're in for a disappointment if they expect something big to happen. Oh, okay. I thought, see, I totally thought because Thriller, I thought they were all going to start dancing or right, something. Yeah, Maybe well. I've been spoiled by James, the guy who sits next to me and all of his dance moves. They just yeah, like the recording right? stuff there. No, it was just a video scene. So the, the next one is Gearhead. Gearhead. Gearhead by Capture Cloud. Well, you know. Uh, also another great example well, of a cool screenshot there. Take a look at that. That's cool. Now this is, this is Abra's who, well, no, Abra's is, that was Abra's who's there. We've got, um, we've got like a little bit of a steampunk uh, theme going on here between that, uh, that one you know, where you switch between maybe, characters. Maybe that's something for a... Uh, Look at that guy. That's just cool looking. Maybe that's something for a future co steam pack, a steampunk content pack. I don't know how we'd make it. But. Oh, look at this little thing that follows me around. That's awesome. Wow. Like a little little pet gyrocopter or something. Oh man, are those going to be enemies? Like, I bet those are enemy gears. <laughs> I wow. didn't know I had a gun. And look, they go running off when you shoot them. That's great. A little hit reaction. Looks like I've got like a jetpack boot or something. So I'm guessing these guys are made out of uh, uh, goblins that are just have like gears attached to them. But that's really cool. Taking advantage of the little auto aim stuff that we've got in there. Now, what are the feet made out of? Are those like castle pieces or something? And what does my little guy do who follows me? I want him to like go buzzing off and like smashing these like goblin guys that are attacking. No way, man! He's not doing that. He's not crazy. So I've got a score of five. I think that's the little gears that I pick up. I love the tinting of everything to be kind of chrome, like black and white esque here. It's just the, the level of detail that, like, you know, I mean, that's really the great thing is the level of detail and attention and love that people put into these levels. Is, is really amazing, and that's really oh. where you see quality stuff. Come. Wait, that, this is an iceberg. I'm top. I'm on top of here. So this guy used a, a little bit of the Arctic pack nice. in this level, which you would never guess looking at it here. 
Wait, it is kind of like Ratchet and Clank. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's a good comparison. Alright, where to next? Down there. Always follow the coins. But in this case, the gears. Whoa, you he, he's almost got to you. Shot him. This looks pretty fun. Wow, this is just super creative. Like, you know, I mean, I can't understand, like, what game studio wouldn't look at somebody who can... You know, anybody can maybe make something once, but if you're somebody that has made a bunch of games like this in Project Spark, I mean, somebody I'd want to hire. <laughs> so what is my gun made out of there? Is it like a bunch of little telescopes or something? Oh, that's a bad guy, not a pickup. Yeah. That, it's kind of interesting how the, the pickups, the gears that I pick up are like, look very similar to the bad Well, they just don't have legs. So you're just saying, I'm, I'm just, I'm not seeing it, I'm blind, that's what you're saying, yeah, Mike? That, that, well, you know. <laughs> It's really cool, the contrast between, like, everything that's colored in this ends up being kind of red, like the red particles, or, like, when I shoot the guys, they turn red and stuff, so it's, like, black and white with those little red highlights. Right. It's a cool little effect, how that kind of comes together. Why would I want to make my own games? Why wouldn't you? Are you just against creativity in all forms, man, or something? Ah, uh, you know, clearly... Does not like and creativity it, and I mean, if, won't if, stand for. If making games isn't your thing, like we're I made something for maybe the first five, ten minutes of this, but now I'm just gonna be playing games the rest of this like stream that we do here. So there's uh, you can go come check out like all the kind of interesting things that people have made. You'll notice though that if you if you take some time to kind of like make some levels of your own and share them out there, you'll appreciate the uh, the stuff that other people have made a lot more. Because like you know when I'm climbing around on this and I realize well, that's an iceberg that somebody like used in a totally different way. It's just kind of fun. It, like it like adds a lot to the the play experience to know like the process behind creating stuff here. Imagine not only creating your own game, but creating your own game that is then. Playable on your console, on the console of everybody. Yeah, on, on your big screen console. TV. On a big screen, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's something like you know, I haven't done that well at keeping up with the stuff you guys are making in the bay. Oh, I've got like a boss here. Whoa! See, so it looks like he's gonna shoot at me. That's kind of what I'm expecting. All right, I'm just gonna lay into him. Oh, he's just bigger. I was all scared. Hey, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. There nice. you go. That was good. I like that, that level. That that was really cool looking level right there. Uh, the next one is um, Project Dark. Project Dark, okay. By Boohoo Stock Crime. Did we show Project Dark before? I have to ask you guys because, you know, a lot of times I have to go and rewatch the screen because a lot of uh, the stream because a lot of times I'm so focused on chat. Project Dark sneak peek. Does that sound right? Yep, it's a yeah a sneak peek. Okay. That I, I I forget half the things like they when they showed Blaze Jumper I missed the entire thing, and then <laughs> I saw it I'm like wow that is awesome. Dark, dark. Do you be able to change trigger zone and other zones with mouse and keyboard? Can you not do that right now? Uh, you know, I, I am somebody that spends a lot of time in trigger zones, but no, I'm not. Uh, you should be able to do that right now. So that sounds like and more remotes are coming, yeah. But uh, trigger zones and, and mouse then I mean, and like you know, with Connect, that's like pretty much infinite emotes right there. Record that's your own. true, right? With Connect, you can do as many emotes as you want, but there's more animations we need to do overall. Fedora is real. It was not cheap either. I got it in Vancouver because apparently everything's awesome in Vancouver except maybe <laughs> their hockey so is team. This, is this supposed to be like a, I'm curious if this is like a, you know at the beginning of a game I, I think this might be looping there's kind of like a press start to begin or something almost like a main menu kind of like cinema or something here. So you can see it's like telling me to press A to, to go to test. So let's see what happens. Yes Ryan this is a commercial this is an infomercial this is just like ShamWow only not quite as impressive as Shem Wow, but we, we think it's pretty impressive. Press A, guys. Press A. A, A doesn't do No, anything. no, it's like well before. Oh. You're good. <laughs> you shot me or blew me up or something. I should probably heal you. Okay, thanks, man. See, isn't it somewhat frustrating to watch people play? Like, that's one of the things that I think is unique to Project Spark is is a lot of the creators say that it's really, really frustrating to watch someone play their game on a stream and not oh, really? do what... Yeah, and you think about it, that's... Like, imagine as a game designer, you're watching somebody play your game, you're like, no, go over! <laughs> yeah, I mean, we do a usability research test where we, like, just... We record people playing Project Spark, like, making stuff, going through the tutorials, and that's how we kind of, like, realize where we need to improve our game and stuff there. All right, so... Is there something else I should press now? I feel like I, I can't actually move at the moment. Maybe... Haha, ha, yes. Okay. <laughs> this dialogue takes a while. 
Okay, so I'm... So, I mean, it's, it's really useful, like, if you, uh, if you see other people play your levels to see then, like, what they do at every moment. Like, we take all sorts of notes when we watch people play Project Spark and then kind of learn where people get stuck or where they, something happens that they didn't expect that might be confusing. Um, and then that just helps us kind of improve the game over time. And then, uh, all right, so now I can move. Now I can run around. Yeah. A little bit slow. Do I have a sprint? I want a sprint. Well, you get the controls right up there, right? Yeah, I'm looking at them. I have a block and a range, inventory. Oh, nice. Prop limit increase. No, there's nothing um, that I know of in the works for. I mean, we're going to improve performance and stuff, but. Uh, What's what was the question? Like the, the prop, you know, to talk about an upcoming prop. Sincerely, is trying to trick us, right? That only works on Henry guys. Jar and I are way too <laughs> you smart. You can't trick that. us. You can't trick us. <laughs> only Henry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, nothing, you know, nothing new now. I mean, we're definitely looking at gluing attachments, to, gluing things together, and then having those count. <laughs> That's really funny. Right now, all I do is wave at you, but maybe in the future, there will be goods I'm able to sell. <laughs> I love that. That's great. But I think that's something that we want to, we, we definitely have been looking at. I don't want to say that we've definitely figured out the way to, that's sort of Jason Major's area, and he's so deep into that. Deep at the metal of, of our Oh, you know, man, stuff gosh, I, wanna... I wasn't expecting that guy to attack me. You let me get it so close. I think, you know, the voxel stuff, again, like, we're always improving right. performance. Oh, no. But right. I, I think there's some tricks we can... You're going to pick up everything. You can use to improve, improve that. And we see some of these levels that just have a ton of stuff. Uh, and maybe we can make some, some sort of, you know, kind of creation aids that allow you to use that stuff a little more effectively, as well as any improvement increase we do. Right, how did I go to my inventory? Why? Okay, so how do I, can I unequip things here and equip things? Y to drop, X to equip. And yeah, the... Um, level 5 attack required. Okay, I, so I can level up here? I haven't gotten into the... I level 10 woodcutting required. Oh, man. That was pretty awesome. I've been getting into the to EverQuest Landmark or EverQuest Next, but yeah, definitely that looks exciting as well, and that's something I want to... Okay. I've been... So I if I get some dagger. time, I want to check that out too, because definitely that's... Uh, they seem to go in, in sort of a similar direction, and I think that's cool. And I have to have a level 15 attack to use the shovel. Dude, it's a... You know, well, you just can't let anybody off the street pick up a shovel and start pitchfork. swinging around. Level 20 attack for the pitchfork. Gosh, okay. Well, you know, you can stab yourself. Okay, I can do a sword. That's good. That's what I needed. I needed something to take on this goblin guy over here. Maybe I'll level up when I Can I, I tell you how to create a brain to spawn something from an object? Um, probably not easily live, but... You know, I mean, you you can create like a like a spawner for enemies or something like that. That's uh, that's pretty pretty simple to do. We might be able to do that between the next couple levels here or something. Depending and something that despawns, respawns, like terrain based on distance. Uh, I think we've seen uh. some folks that did that. In fact, they were trying to trick, and it worked, right? They they did a um, to get around the prop limit. They set up like these items oh, where they would only spawn away. when you were looking in that direction. So when you looked away, they would despawn. And then spawn back when you look there, which you think, wow, that's pretty clever. Is this like a crafting cool. table? Oh man, this is cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw. I think we saw the the beginning of this. Sword. It was really, really cool that you could craft. Oh it, but man. You need to have so many materials and. Which sword? Um, so I can craft a little knife. Crafting level one. All right. Stone held. Stones required. So I don't have enough stones to craft this. I wonder, how, okay, and then I can switch. Okay, so I need a higher level crafting. I think the prop limit now is what? That's cool. 3,000, 2,400, something like that. I think it was it was lower and then we raised it up, or it was 1,500 and we... I think it's around 3,000 right now, but I mean, it's totally possible to do stuff like Mike's talking about, where you like spawn things and delete things. I'm actually working on a level right now that I can't say anything about that does a lot of that. Um, uh, spawning and deleting stuff to kind of have like a much bigger experience contained within the prop limit. And then our kind of our priority kind of maybe potentially over figuring out ways to increase performance and maybe get like 10% more props. Like our priority right now is to try and get that level linking and checkpointing stuff working because we know that will kind of just blow the doors off and make it infinite for you guys in the size of worlds that you can create and like how much stuff can go in there. So that's like a little bit higher priority on as far as I know for stuff that we're working on. I'm just ignoring you, Aris, just because that's the way I am. Actually, I read your question. It was going to say it, but then I forgot because it scrolled off the screen. So I have one coin. I bet I still can't buy anything. 
So oh wait, I remember. Still only waves in. Terrain tinting. Uh, I don't know offhand how that works because. Does it work? I'm a bad community manager and don't spend as much time in the game as I need to. So by the Oh wait, wait, no, hold on, time out. Mike Kelly asked a question. Can you explain how terrain tinting works? Yes, yes. Tell them how terrain tinting works. I can. I don't know. Can I don't you? know. I don't know if I can. Oh I really? I think we we shown it off, right? We have. Okay. Well. Maybe I mean, um, unless there's some secret there, I don't. Is there a secret that I'm? I've seen it. I've seen somebody. Uh, so oh, there we go. I leveled up. Will it be a material? That's, that's cool. A material slot? Or oh, you can, you can do world? that. You can squash like a, a button like that. I didn't know you could do that. What? You, you, you squash that icon that showed up there. Really? Yeah. Huh. Anyway, so train tinting. We want to talk about train tinting? Yeah, Mike Kelly wants to know about... I wasn't going to answer it when Aris asked, but now that Mike Kelly did... Again, I'm trying to play them off against each other. So it looks like I pull this lever, and then I get uh, a new goblin to fight. Or it revives him. So, that, so this is probably like a, just a test arena, basically, I'm guessing. You can tell me if I'm wrong uh, while I'm getting punched in the face. Um, about uh, just kind of like testing out these RPG mechanics, like crafting and loot system and leveling up and stuff like that. So if I, I bet if I fight this guy with my sword, eventually I'll level up my uh, sword skill, or I can spend skill hi, points Arcella. and do that. Or something. say hi to Arcella. What do we got over here? What's this deal? Some ammo. You See, found he's the... dodging the question. I can't, you know. Hey, I'm like distracted. He what gets was the so into the game. So I... we're talking about train tending. They want to know if to... it's going to be a, be a material slot or if it automatically changes the whole thing. I thought it changed everything. That maybe you know. Um, I don't think it's any big secret. Like we've shown it. Yeah, I mean, I think the way it does is you pick like one of the materials in your uh, that's in your palette, kind of at the bottom of the screen there, in create mode while you're painting. You pick one, and then you modify it. So it's like if you modify the dirt here, you're modifying dirt everywhere that there's dirt. You make the dirt purple, then you have purple dirt. Right. Um, I don't know that you can have two versions of dirt, like one that's purple and one that's green or something like that. And, and I feel like we we we. I think we showed that off before, but maybe maybe that was all a dream. Uh, and no, hey, I, I, you know, I'm certainly no, uh, I'm certainly proud when I dodge a question, but in this case, like, it's one of those things like, eh. Come follow me, Goblin. No? No more follow? Jeez, oh, you just want to punch me. Uh, it's not, a, train tending isn't in the beta yet. I don't know the ETA on that. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, that's where I was like, I think we've, I've seen it, I, and I think the way it works, like, I mean, it's, it's some, what happens often for us, like, is that we'll, we'll implement a feature, like maybe terrain tinting, and then we put it, we just get it in the game, to see and, if it's it works. Like, and it's like buried in the world settings menu, or something like that, and really hard to use, and then we have to like kind of go back and polish it, and kind of make it more usable for you guys, and then we release it out there. Right, so yeah, there's usually like, okay, we get it in, does this work? Hey, All yeah, right. this is kind of cool, they play with it a bit, and like, okay, let's take that out, fix it, do it right. Really cool sure mechanics that guy's got started there. I'm really excited to see what this becomes down the road, like as he starts making quests and dungeons or whatever else is coming with this thing here. Did you make a character that ate too much, he became fatter, and if he exercises, he loses weight? Make a bigger, I don't know. Hmm. You can make them grow. I don't know. You can't really do non-scaling proposals. That's one. That's a good example, like we've mentioned before on the stream here, of something that's like there's no quick, easy, dirty way to like make that happen in like one or two pieces of a brain. But it's pos it's possible. Like the, my first thought would be to put like a leather ball like at the su at the stomach oh, yeah, area, yeah. and then like scale it up or down to give him kind of like a big round belly or something like that as he like eats too much or something there. Um, so we project, wanted Project Danny wanted to know: Can you give light bulbs a brain? Basically, you can give yeah, any light item. bulbs can have a brain. Right now, most of the properties of a light bulb are not available in code, so you can't like uh, change the range of that light bulb from uh, inside the light bulb's brain. But you can do everything else you can do with any brain, like make it move around, follow a path, fly towards you, stuff like that. Um, and down the road, that is it's one of the things we want to get to. Just like we want to get all those world settings, like the brightness of the sky and everything into the brain so that you can change those. We also want to get the brightness of all the individual lights and stuff right. like that in there, too. What's next? What um, so up? I think, uh, let me see. I think that might have been all the lists that I had for this week. Um, so you can, you can, you can do, uh, well, I'm we can check out see, Moon Landing. I want to so. see what Moon Landing is. I saw that before, and I had to, I had to know. This is what happens. This is how you end up spending You said there's nothing hours. left, so I'm just going to oh, go no, no, off this script. Oh, no, no, this like, the fact that you see something, you're like, really, I want to see that. So it looks like we've got some moon terrain type stuff here. Probably just, oh, wow, I can jump in moon gravity. That's cool. So it's probably just gravity factor is really low. Huh. Cool example of what happens. Oh, and he's—it looks like he's taken off in-air acceleration. So I have to like—I can't like turn around in the air like you normally would be able to do. 
So that kind of gets like a very different feeling. What was the last level we were jump. playing? Was that? Um, that was the was Project, Project Dark. Dark? Yeah. Project Dark sneak peek. Yep. So Aris, did that? I mean, Mike Kelly, did that answer your question? What 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 was the question? Well, no, the whole. Uh, I think. It, I think that's exactly like what we went in, because there's the delay in chat. We see it about 30 seconds after we say it. Was that, um, you know, their concern was that it was in world settings. And so we'd actually answered it before they even asked it. But that, that was why uh -huh. the genesis of the question was like, geez, that seems like a real pain. Yeah, I mean. Because you can't really do that with code and stuff. But like, you know, obviously, yeah. Definitely. Agreed. We want to make it better. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's usually what happens. We'll get, a, we'll get something. We'll show it off. Hey, look, this works. And then we'll do it. We, well, we can't try it, Mike. It's not in the game. It's things, is, things like leaderboards the beta and, version. and level linking and different pieces like that. And like uh, uh, that we, we've got like kind of pieces of them working, but we really want to like roll them out in a little bit more polished way to you guys. Like so that we can give you like everything you want out of those features. Right. Like I try to make these guys play on the beta build, build so that they, you know, live <laughs> the pain of the community. Um, no, no, this is the, this is still the beta build. build. We're not showing uh, Xbox One or Win 8. I suppose we could have done the Win 8 today, but... I mean, this is Win 8. This is... Well, the... no, the, we could have done the newer version, right? The one that's going to be going out before oh. the Xbox One. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know, I just... Yeah, we'll do that beginning of next week. So it's probably, like, a little bit closer to everything being out there. We'll show you what the new Windows 8 version looks like and switch back and forth between that and the Xbox so we can, like, show how, like, saving levels between the two works and things like that. Um... All right, so is that is that the the culmination of, of everything we wanted to show today? Yeah, I think right. so. Did you did you have you seen Blaze Jumper yourself? Um, I haven't. No. no. Why don't you play it real quick and then we'll we'll kind of wrap up. Uh, any final questions, guys? That um, you want you want us to hit before we wrap up? It's about four fifteen here, and uh, what, am, what am I looking? Blaze Jumper. And I get I get a little loopy uh, towards the end. I'm trying to think of what else is what else is new that's coming with the Xbox. Uh, version of everything. So well, actually, I don't even know if Train Tinting is in the next one. Yeah, it's, it's not in the Xbox not, one, as far as I know. I guess, yeah. like, maybe maybe it isn't somebody in the television. Yeah, Mike, that's still, it's still not, it, we're still not live A lot, a lot of control that. stuff is getting, getting fleshed out for the playing uh, games across platforms. Um, oh, Artzilla had a question, too. I, I was going to I think the undo system is getting updated to work a good bit differently. Oh, I, I've seen this in the in, uh, in a video or something recently. So, or saw somebody streaming, and they were, they were playing this level. How do, how do I respawn? Do I get, can I respawn? There we go. Yeah, so I, and this was interesting. What a lot of the um, oh, I feedback from Saks was that a lot of the journalists said, wow, this is like actually a, a legit game. Like this is a game that you would, you know, that right. they, they um, would not be, they would they would review this game if this uh, was a, you know. Shoot, R left trigger. There we go. Kill him. Okay. <laughs> and so that, to me, was pretty awesome. When, when we start seeing I really want to know games like this, there. we can really show off. I mean, that's really awesome. Oh, okay. Uh, More font <laughs> options. Yeah, we know. Like, that's a... That's okay. A, good good suggestion there. That's something that I think... Um, I just saw I just saw a pitch for a lot of new UI features that might come along. I'm not exactly sure when that will come in, but we're talking about it, and that's that's one of the things that would come there as part of that. Oh, fall damage. So somebody, um, hmm. if you want to see a cool mechanic, I guess somebody's made a level called fall damage. That ah, it, okay, there we go. New checkpoint, good. Look at that, nice. That okay. basically demonstrates how to do fall damage. Nice, that's cool. Maybe we can check that out before we uh, wrap up. Um, nope. Community channel. So it's Twitch TV oh, this forward slash Project Spark Community. This. Maybe somebody can write that in. And th that's a, a channel that we set up, Team Dakota set up, but we have it run by the community. Mike uh, Kelly is actually the organizer uh, behind that. Man, and wow. we have folks streaming almost 24 seven. And what's really cool about the community stream is that uh, we have, a, Drop. We have a, um, a monitor set up right between my desk and Jesse, who's the lead producer, that has it there. Uh. And you know, I was out last week one day and Jesse made a, uh, <laughs> He made an account called uh, Team Dakota Dev, I think it was, and he just logged it in. So anybody on the team walking by can just go in and <laughs> kind of do a random comment on what people are doing and then run off. And everybody's like, wait, who's that? What's going on? So it was kind of funny. Um, so it looks like if I jump like right as I hit, I go higher. I didn't realize that until just now. Ah, uh, there we go. No! <laughs> oh, uh, Doug, what right, was well, your question? Can you use, oh yeah, so that fall damage. What was the, so the question was what, can you use the companion app for Project Spark on a non-Windows 8 tablet? 
Um, handy now. So is that what, like smart glass, probably? Yeah. So smart glass is going to be interesting because we're 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 sort of taking. First off, smart glass is still a ways out, right? We've still got a lot of work to do, especially with what we want to accomplish. Right. We showed off like what we're the goal of smart glass is to be back at E3. Right. And we had like it running at the demo stations and everything there. But just so you guys know, that was uh, a very, very early prototype of what that can can work like. So there's a lot of stuff to get that running across all different kinds of devices because that was only running on Surface Pros, I think, at the time. But it will eventually run on every device that has smart glass, which right. is like pretty much every mobile phone and uh, tablet out there. Right so now. yeah, so our position is that when, when that feature is in and that's working, um, it'll support whatever supports. I should say smart I should glass. say smartphone. It's not every mobile phone, but yeah, anything that supports smart glass, you'll be able to right. run that companion experience. Because really, on. we're using we're, we're leveraging what they've created, like their background. We're just putting projects. There, there's often it. differences, just so you're aware, differences between like tablet uh, versions of smart glass and phone versions. So there'll probably be some differences there, but yeah, you, you get it. Like in general, like anything that runs the tablet version of smart glass will have the tablet companion experience and so on. Yeah, so show off DK, um, can we get displayed items on screen in HD? Oh, I think Henry answered last <laughs> Better week. Better icons, basically like high resolution icons or something there. Yeah, I think Henry answered last week that the answer to that was yes. Like it's coming or you can do it now? <laughs> I, I don't know, I wasn't really listening. To what Henry said? Yeah. Oh. You should I just knew the answer was affirmative. It wasn't a negative. I, I just, I'm trying to key on the negative so I can say, well, let me explain why we may not be able to do that, guys. Okay, so falling might be fun, but it hit, hit me around is. Okay. Dan, man, we haven't released, haven't announced a release date other than to say we're in certification. It won't be today or tomorrow. I can tell you that for sure. We haven't uh, ruled out the possibility oof. of next week. We don't really know. It's in cert. If something bad comes back, we're going to need to fix it. It's going to take some time, but yeah. Right know. now, we know there's a couple little bugs that aren't like there aren't deal breakers. Right. But I'm going to die on this one. Oh no. Oh, look at that! Wow. So he, he must be, I'm guessing that he's uh, calculating the position that you're jumping from and then uh, checking like how, what the difference is in like the position from when you jump and when you land and then damaging you a bit based on that. Um, multiplayer will be sometime after the Xbox One beta. I don't know that we've, I mean, we've been making really good progress on and, it. And there's stuff in the Xbox One beta that's kind of the groundwork for that system to come online. There's a lot of stuff we kind of have to like get set up before we can kind of flip the switch and enable multiplayer for, for everybody out there. Yeah I, yeah, I wouldn't say we don't believe in release dates, but, <laughs> you know, in a lot we of like ways... We like to have something pretty concrete nice. before we... Uh, we All right, we don't, wanna, we don't want to tell you guys something and then not deliver, because we know how frustrating that is. And, and this is such an early version of the game, right? We're kind of coding it and getting it right out to you guys. It's sort of the whole, you know, really the whole beta thing. So we, we rather would be sort of transparent and say, hey, look, we don't really know. I think it drives, part, you know, Wolf and Blaine or... PR marketing folks a little crazy sometimes, but you know it's one of those things where the experience has to be right. This is such a, this is one of those games that, you know, it's got to be a good experience, or you're gonna get you know, you may not capture and see the magic of it. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, a giant robot there. Yeah, I mean it, Blizzard, you know Blizzard is definitely like the the same way. I mean. They certainly have a little more clout than we yeah, do. But, we're brand new here. But they, so. you know, I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone, and in fact, I really, really want to make a content pack that is like the basics of, of a card game. Because I think a lot of people could go in, edit the, uh, you know, just edit the values and almost design their own card game. I think that would Wait, be where cool. Did that, where'd that minecart game go? Oh, I might have to come back and look for that. Oh, well. Okay, so is that, is that going to wrap up our stream here? Yeah, so guys, if you don't have any questions, we're going to be um, streaming next Thursday at 3 p.m. And if by some chance the Xbox One beta launches before then, um, have fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll do a stream that, that the launch day at noon, uh, and we'll probably announce that first thing in the morning or maybe super late the night before. Um, uh, Outlaw Dig, the answer to that question was the Smart Glass class one. That's what we're using for, to support our, our stuff. So it'll be on anything that supports Smart Glass. We'll have that on there, uh, and the uh, and. Just keep an eye out. The Windows 8 update will it happen at the same time, if not most likely precede the Xbox One. So if you see that, that might be a hint that it's coming, that at least the runway is cleared for Xbox One to land. I don't know if we'll try to do it simultaneously. I think there'll be a, about a day delay at, at, mo like at minimum, maybe more, between and, the two. And BAFTA, I'll get some more info on that. I just, 
I know that we were, we were going to send some, some folks there from Team Dakota, but it's always good if we send somebody out to an event. If, if there are community folks that are going to be in the area anyways, maybe we can get you guys a pass so you can help them out. Because we feel like you guys can demo the game as well, if not better, than, than we can at this point. So sometimes it's yeah. good to have the community people there if, you know, poor Kim is demoing and has to go to the restroom. Well, you know, it'd be great to have a community member there that can step in and do the demo and, you know, kind of just kind of help us out with that. Because we've got a lot of events that people want us to go to, but, you know, we're a small team and, and it kind of kills us when we get to send, like Gamescom, I remember that. We had everything get, uh, had lots of people get uh, pulled offline for a yeah. week or more on that. Were you at Gamescom? Uh, I was not. You were not? Like, it's like, you know, half the team, they tried to make me, but I dodged that bullet. Sure. Have we shown this one off? This looks cool. No, well, we can show that. All right. Last level. Last, last level. Two. We've been saying this for... The last few levels. Yeah, and, I, and I'm super excited about PAX East. Um, we've got our, we're going to have a panel at PAX East. Uh, it'll be, uh, I'm going to be the moderator. It's going to be Sax and Brad Schuber, our art director, and Bradley Reeb, lead designer, and who else is going to be there? Uh, I think Henry was supposed to be, I don't know if he's, he might have a conflict, so he might not be able to make it. Um, and uh, we're going to have a lot of community folks, I think, are, are planning on being there. And uh, we're going to get them all passes into, into PAX East and put them to work. We're going to give them our big PPI, which is the big screen, and say, hey, guys, this is your demo. You show what you think people are going to want to see, because they're going to know better than us, right? We're going to try to show off the cool stuff that we think sells the game well. And they're going to show off what they're interested in and what other community folks are interested in. So it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. You know, besides, I like getting work out of you guys because I'm really lazy. <laughs> oh, and this is the second week we showed it. No, you know. This this level? No, well, I don't know. Did this one or the one before? I don't think we've seen this one. But what do I know? I don't pay attention to the stream. So, guys, follow us on, um, I'm not sure what passes there are, Aris, but something. Some type of, I don't know what kind of pass I'll get. Uh, Mike's gonna decide. So if you don't like it, it's his fault. Exactly, because <laughs> it's all me. I make all. Yeah. I secretly make every dis anything you don't like. It's, all, it's Mike. I'm the one that said no. Let's not put that. Let's not. Let's not talk about multiplayer for a few months. Yeah, I, let's I, just, I let's just hold it off on them and, and and torture people. What are we coming to San Diego? Uh, I think San Diego Comic Con. I think. Um, when is that? Is that coming up? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> they, I saw some email where Maybe somebody Wolf signed to talk up about. Marketing schedule. I know. I, well, you know, um, if we, when we do the, uh, what, on launch day, right, we might do our stream from, because we're, we're streaming from Willows, which is a different from Microsoft Studios. We might do a stream at, uh, at Studios. Uh, and if we do, that's what we'll, although he spends half his time here, maybe we can get him to do, do a drive by and we can pepper him with all the marketing questions we want and stuff like that. So I think that would be cool. But, you know, yeah, I think, you know, we can look at that. I, I remember hearing something about San Diego. I think I was signed up in some way to, I got like a press pass or something. I don't know why. I forget. Leslie, Leslie and Marketing hooked me up with that. But um, so follow us on, on Twitter and uh, Facebook. That's probably where you're going to get the, the latest news. You might want to follow Sachs because um, sometimes he knows more or before I know. Sometimes I don't know what I can say, and then I see <laughs> Sachs say it, and I'm like, oh, well, we can say that now. So uh, that's cool. Uh, follow the community stream. Those guys are pretty in touch with everything. It's uh, Twitch TV, Project Spark Community, one word. Uh, we'll be back next Thursday at 3 p.m. and Hopefully less, before. And maybe before. And we'll be at noon. So thanks, guys. We appreciate it. And we're going to do our obligatory 30 seconds of silence while Jared plays something awesome yeah, that keep, isn't on his phone. Which okay. Picked up. <laughs> keep, keep making awesome stuff. It's really exciting to yeah, watch. Yeah, thanks, guys. Every week we're seeing more cool stuff. So. Want to just hit mute so we can talk bad about uh, this thing, the red Mike button. Kelly and Aris. And